I like how you said clap. Are you serious about this one? Not the first. Oh, not the second time, did I? <laughs> one, two, three, clap. Really well, cute. just so you know when. <laughs> it's really cute, and I think we should leave it. <laughs> I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the peachiest podcast on the internet that will be changing its name very shortly. Happy 2023. My name is Crash of Rapid Peach everywhere on the internet. I am Kersey of at made by Kersey on the internet. <laughs> and today, boy oh boy, I have stories. <laughs> but how are you doing, Kersey? How was your new year? My new year was great. I went to Seattle. I went into the woods. There was a, this is kind of a heavy story to start off with, but I'm kind of down to talk about it if you are, which is there was a, um, a phone. I was in the middle of the forest, and it was an art installation that was totally made like very guerrilla, very graffiti. Of um, you can make phone calls to people that you didn't have a chance to say goodbye to. Oh, and I it, like that. Isn't that that's pretty? intense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what I spent my New Year's doing: is um, handling my grief in a very, very healthy way. It was done by somebody to put it up during COVID. And then the uh -huh. city put a plaque on it saying this installation is now permanent and will be cared for by the city. Um, huh. Isn't that beautiful? Middle of nowhere. Yeah, in the that woods. is. Middle of nowhere in the woods. You 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 could walk right right past it and not even know. But I it was it was definitely a really really healthy way to start out the new year. <laughs> For sure. That's fun. I like that. Tell I mean, it's not fun, but you know what I mean? You know what? Weirdly, <laughs> it was fun. I, Good. I would say that it was one of those, like, I, I would say that in kind of finishing up our grief episode right now, um, the acceptance part you do find it. It doesn't mean I'm happy about it. It doesn't mean that I'm satisfied with everything and how everything went down. But you find yourself in the sadness. I was going to say, you're feeling better. I'm feeling... I don't know if better is the word. There's another word. Is it... I guess it is better. I just feel like the catharsis of the whole thing is now <laughs> not much of an eggshell. Okay. And I'm just the baby mm -hmm. bird of the catharticness that is the situation. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's better. Yeah. That is better. That is, it that is, is better, better, man. It is better. <laughs> I'm like, just so you know, that is definitely better than how you were doing. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me all your stories, dude. Okay, so I, oh, okay, so New Year's, first of all, super cool. I went to one of my friend's houses. Um, she has, like, the best view on the entire island because you can see, like, from the mountains all the way to the other side of the island, pretty much, um, at least on, like, this half. So it, it was incredible, but, but she has nothing in the immediate vicinity because her apartment looks directly over, like, the state capitol. So it's like um, an old cemetery and then like Iolani Palace, which is like one of the pa older palaces on the island. And then like the Hawaii State like public library. So there's like no tall buildings at all. And she's up on the 35th floor. So you, there's nothing around at all. And you can see everything. So New Year's was like so freaking cool because uh, it was like quiet, but there were a billion fireworks to see and uh just had a great time uh watching those fireworks and then kind of just hanging out for a couple of days before we went to Maui to visit um with my uncle and his family because they were visiting Maui instead of Oahu because we were like don't come to Oahu you've been here three times let's go to Maui instead <laughs> and um so we went to Maui for like four days and it was so cool um 
not only just like seeing family and like being on a little vacation, which was like nice because it was kind of like a staycation almost where like I didn't have any jet lag, mm. oh, which, yeah, yeah right? Mm. <laughs> it was like, I got on a plane, I'm on vacation, but you know what? I don't have jet lag. That's pretty <laughs> great. <laughs> so I loved that. Um, can I talk to you, though, about my newest obsession? Well, you'll have to. Kersey, I love whales. Oh, my God. I love whales. Is this our whale I... episode? Oh, my God. This, this is, is our, our whale, whale episode. episode. Oh, my God. I love whales so much. This go. Is... You go. You go. <laughs> I... Like, I've always really liked whales. I've all, like, since I was a teenager, I've had, like, Save the Whales, um, what are those called? Shoelaces and, like, my Converse. Like, I, I've always loved the whales. I'm a vegetarian. I like whales. I like animals. All that good stuff. Can I tell you the excitement that I felt the first time I saw whales breaching, jumping out of the water, being so super cool? Oh, my God. Um... I, I cannot express to you how excited I was. I was literally screaming. I was hitting everybody around me on the beach because you could see them from the beach. You could see them from the beach. You could see whales jumping about from the beach. It was amazing. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, life-changing moment. These are so cool. I love everything that's happening right now. I am so stoked to be seeing these whales. Life just made, totally made seeing the whales. For anybody who doesn't know Hawaii and specifically like in this area off of Maui is like really popular for humpback whales. From humpback like whales are my April. favorite whale. Favorite whale, best whale, oh, humpback whale. I, I'm getting to that 100% though. Like humpback whales, my jam, my favorite. They might be, no, they're not, not, not might be. They are 100% definitely my new favorite animal. Oh, can I No tell doubt you about something? it. But, and why this might uh, be. Yes. Humpback whales have always been my favorite animal. <laughs> oh, I love... We're I, becoming the same person. There, yeah, you... Um, there was a, a book called Humphrey the Humpback Whale. And it was about this whale that got lost. He was in San Francisco Bay and then just made the wrong fucking turn, man. And went all the way up this, like, freshwater river and got really, really sick. <sighs> And the town folks were, like, freaking out, like, oh, my God, there's this whale. And he got stuck behind a bridge. He somehow got under the bridge and then couldn't go turn around. And the whole town rebuilt the bridge and got into rowboats and started. But this humpback whale, he still wouldn't go. And then the whole town got little, um, like, pipes. And started hitting them underneath the water, like, go, Humphrey, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> and then he, he, like, tried to wiggle and tried to get through. And then he turned on his side. And you can, there's footage of it from the local news. And everybody starts freaking out. They're like, yeah, yeah. And then he got out and he got back into the bay. And I kid you not, I love this book. And when I saw that it was featured on, reading rainbow <laughs> was, oh yeah i was a happy toddler that day <laughs> it was a good day to be a toddler for sure but yeah they, oh man yeah i think humpback whales are amazing i think how far they travel is is i mean there's a reason why they were featured in that one Star Trek film, which is the only good Star Trek film, in my opinion. Do you know the one I'm talking about? Star Trek, go back. No. Dude, okay, this Star Trek movie, you got to watch it now. If humpback whales are your favorite animal, you, it, it is about... Okay, well, first of all, it starts out, it's like, starts out with, oh, I'm sorry, your son died. And they tell it to the main guy, the Captain Kirk guy. I don't think it matters because they don't bring it up again, ever. But... Their whole mission is to get to the past San Francisco to bring humpback whales back to the future. <gasps> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And then the Spock, Spock guy, the Vulcan, he yeah. doesn't remember who he is. So it's <laughs> on top of 
<laughs> trying to get these whales. They're also trying to remind this guy who he is. And everybody in past San Francisco thinks he's just this total hippie dude. Not only is it like, it's like 1988 San Francisco. So it's pre-89 earthquake. It's like pre-tech uh -huh. San Francisco. It's a great movie. It's the only good Star Trek movie. Everyone should watch this movie. And there's humpback whales in it. So I googled Star Trek whale movie. It's The Voyage Home, by the way. Okay. But I've got to say, one of the, like, on the first page Google results says, like, there's an article called Avatar 2, The Way of Water's Space Whales are part of a rich sci-fi tradition. <laughs> <laughs> and that has me rolling right now. <laughs> whale episode, baby! <laughs> I love whales! I love whales! We love whales! So, um... <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. So I'm watching them from the shoreline, right? And like we see these two whales like breach at the same time and fall. And I'm like, oh my God, life made. And we're watching them for like another hour or so, just like hanging out, playing. And I'm like, this is the best moment of my life. I love these whales. Okay, maybe not. But it's like top 10 moments of my life. I love these whales. Amazing. Freaking out. And everyone's like, okay, like Crash is a whale person now. This is just... <laughs> It's an, it's an accepted fact at this point because I was the only person on the beach like screaming about these whales. So then the next day we go on a dinner cruise out into the bay and we're like, haha, we'll probably see some whales. Like it'll be kind of fun. But like last night's whales were so cool. It's just going to be like, you know, more whales. Awesome. <sighs> We've been on this boat for 10 minutes and we come across a mother and her calf. No. And they're sleeping. No. And so we kind of like cut the engine on the boat. We're like 150 feet from these whales. And they're just taking a nap, having a great time. We chill for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, just like watching the whales, taking pictures, seeing them breathe. And we're like, oh my gosh. Wow. How often are you going to get this close to whales and just like be chill, right? We're like, oh my gosh, so cool. So, you know, we chill for like 10, 15 minutes. We start puttering away because we're like, let's leave them alone to like let them rest and all that. After we leave, about five minutes later, the whales wake up. And then we get an hour and a half long show from this mother and her calf oh my God. doing just the most incredible things. They're like breaching the mom when she jumps up. Oh, my God. She jumps up like her entire body goes out of the water, including her tail, just like whoosh, and then these giant splashes of water. And the calf was like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Cause like as the mom was getting ready to like jump up and everything to do a breach, the calf would do like three little ones in the meantime. So you'd be like, oh, look, there goes baby, baby one, baby two, baby three. Oh, my gosh, baby did such a good job. There's the mom! Like, oh, oh we were losing our mind. The whole boat was losing their minds. It was incredible. So, yeah, we got to, so in the distance, we could also see, like, tons of other whales doing their thing. But, like, everyone on this boat, we are emotionally invested in this mother <laughs> and her calf. And, like, the the crew on the boat is telling us all about whales and like oh this calf's probably like four weeks old did you know when they're born they're born the size of a truck literally yeah. the same truck my dad drives i'm like oh my god that is one big baby and it grows like a foot every day and like 60 pounds every day and i'm like oh my gosh look at this mom feeding her baby making that baby big and strong and they're slapping their hands on the water and they're slapping their tails and they're breaching and they're breathing and i life you know you know those moments in life where yeah. you become very small i love those moments and those whales they made me feel real small in a really good way i was like man i have to pay taxes but those whales they're having a great time right now. I have to pay taxes. And I think, you know, whales are my new favorite animal. Yeah. They're my new obsession. My cousin bought me a magnet that says whales make me happy on it. Uh, I got a jacket with a whale on it. Uh, I, whales are my new thing. I'm like, you know, all, I, all the tattoos I have are bugs. But should I get one that's a whale, though? I have a story for just... you. I have a story for you. Mm. When I went to Hawaii, I, um, my friends and I decided to go on a hike. And 
my friend who lived there said we could see a humpback whale and i was like dude they're my favorite animal if i see one i'll get a tattoo of one for sure Mm. we're up this hill i can't remember where we were exactly i'll figure out you were probably you were probably on the um were you gonna go see a lighthouse or no i think there was a lighthouse yeah, okay, so you went to, uh, I was just there last week, why am I blinking? No, there wasn't a white uh, lighthouse, this was another one. There was a, you sure? Yes, because I was, was going to say Makapu night. Lighthouse, because that's, anyway, okay, I was going to say the Makapu this... Lighthouse has great views. Anyway, yeah, yeah, we're on the hike, we get up to the top, and when you see those things breach, they're like the size of three different animals, like three different elephants. Oh, yeah. They're the size of three yeah. elephants. So even from far yeah. away, when you see the reach, it's like this tiny tower is coming out by tiny tower, huge tower is coming out and just like falling. It just looks like freedom. It just looks like total freedom. And then my mm-hmm. friend turns to me and says, you just saw it. You got to get that tattoo now. <laughs> Did you? Do you have a whale tattoo? I want one. I want one. If it's going to be okay, anything, it's going to be a humpback it. whale tattoo. Um. I, I'm just starting my tattoo journey though. Let's 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 <laughs> calm the waters a little bit. But yes, I was I gonna say, how do I on, not know you have a whale tattoo? I like... plan on getting a humpback tattoo one day in my life. Hell yeah. Yeah. God, those whales are cool. Yeah, you got me stuttering. I love them so just much. talking about humpback whales. I like I can't even they're they're huge, they're caring. They're, yeah. They they eat like one of the smallest critters in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, I know. I know. Yeah. I know. And they're, they're absolutely incredible. beautiful. Yeah. 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 I'm Come like on. I I I cannot I cannot describe to you like how life changing it was to see the whales up close in person having a great time i'm like oh my god you had a this is my life moment you had a this is actually <sighs> my life moment yeah it's very I'm, romantic yeah very i 100 nice. did yeah oh oh my god i didn't even tell you like the coolest part shit go well okay not the coolest part that was the coolest part seeing them but like the part that like rounded it out we're like 20 minutes out from like being done with the whole dinner cruise and everything they put a hydrophone into the water Oh my and god. It was just and the whole boat exploded in whale noises. Oh it was my like god. so many whales screaming at us, singing. I was like, oh my god, do not be the only person on this boat who cries right now. I had to hold back the tears so hard. So hard. I was like, I I cannot be the only one who cries. I can't do it. I can't be the only one right here who's crying. I was looking around seeing if anybody else was crying. No one else did. So I was like, keep your shit together right now, Crash. But it was really hard to convince myself to keep my shit together because I wanted to wail by W-A-I-L. I wanted to wail and cry and just scream and shout. And I'm doing it right now. It was beyond incredible. It was beyond incredible. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm. Uh, there was a changed. record that I found in a thrift store on mm-hmm. in San Rafael. <gasps> was it just whale it, noises? It was whale noises. It was a cash <gasps> only. I I didn't have my wallet. I only had my card. So I right. hid it, and I ran back home. I grabbed some cash, and I ran back to that thrift store. Somebody grabbed it. Yeah. <gasps> and no. I, I hit it real good. I hit it real Could good. Could you not ask them to hold it for you? You know, that would have been the wiser choice. Yeah. Uh, I decided to hide it, which somebody found and was like, no, I want this one. Wherever it is, I'm sure it's in a good person's home. This was before it was the resurgence of vinyl. So, like, vinyl lovers were vinyl lovers. And you have right. to protect it with your life. Um, so yeah, I like to imagine it's at a, a ninety-year-old man's house, and he lost his wife, and this is what comforts him. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a great imagination. Hope, yeah, I can, I can get behind that one. He needed, he needed it more than I did. He needed it more than I'm, I did. 
Yeah. No, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I like. I looked up. The I want to be. I want to be that old man now. I want to be that old man with his whale noises that he listens to when he falls asleep. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what you I should have You done are last that. Night when I couldn't too. sleep. Oh yeah, whale noises. I listen to whale noises when I can't sleep. <laughs> right. It is on Spotify. It is one of the most played things. On my, I'm so happy we're talking about whales. It is on my Spotify. <laughs> I will send it to you, and then you will Please also do. go to yeah. You will also go to sleep to the sound of whales. I'm just gonna throw out some whale facts. I had to Google how big are whales. Whales are do it. Fit 49 feet, so pretty much 50 feet and 35 tons. And the males are smaller than the females. I did not know that. Hold on. Yeah, males are slightly smaller than the females. Hell and yeah. they can live up to 50 years. Oh, I have a fun fact too. Okay, I have one I'll tell you about after this. Never mind, go, keep going. More whale facts. Also, well, the, the food, the tiniest little creatures that they eat that I referenced before, yeah. they're actually called the krill. krill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Their predators are humans, which is very, very sad. So we have to do everything we can to protect these whales. Yeah, please don't eat whale sushi. Um, did you know humpback whales with distinct populations sing the same song while the songs of whales from other populations are different? That means... They speak different languages. That means music is not just individual to human beings it is a universal language that we can all be speaking to each other (laughs) Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, you you go give me your facts give me your facts okay so this one's like kind of sad but also like amazingly critical Critical. yeah yeah um so there's a thing called a whale fall i don't know if you've ever heard of it but essentially what it is, is that, like, when a whale dies, mm-hmm. it floats down because it's heavy, right? Um, if a whale's carcass, like, makes it down to, like, the, the sea floor, like, you know, thousands of feet down, all that good stuff, there's, like, hardly any bacteria down there. There's, like, nothing, no, like, erosion, nothing like that. So a whale carcass can, like, sit on the bottom of the floor for like decades Mm -hmm. and it can and over the course of those decades it completely changes the ecosystem of Mm -hmm. that area so like that's when like all the starfish all the like bottom feeders all the crabs all that like go and eat and live and reproduce and everything on this whale carcass for like literal decades there was like the whale fall was first talked about that i know of in like the 1970s Oh my that God. whale carcass is still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's also like even when we deeper. say these things are big, they are big. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw footage of a whale carcass that fell into like some of the deepest parts of the ocean, where mm-hmm. like it's almost like a space exploration to get down there, even the first right. place. Right. And the pressure is so hard. That only like very certain kinds of species live out there and you're right it changes the entire ecosystem right. and you can survive off right. of that for years and years and years to come yeah decades yeah 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 also when the babies are like six weeks old they do that like two to three thousand mile swim from hawaii to alaska six weeks six weeks old and that's what they're doing I don't know any other animal. They know the Six ocean weeks old more, yeah. is like, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Do you see giraffes? Side note, do you see giraffes get born? Or they just like fall That's what I'm saying. six oh, yeah. feet yeah. out of the sky and then start walking two yeah. hours later? That's crazy. It's a, it's a rough start. Dude. It's a rough start, that one. Like, I don't know why our childhoods are so long. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just turned 35. I now feel like an adult. Not before. <laughs> that person was a child. 
That person didn't know anything right. about life. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm I'm googling do humpback whales mourn their dead. Whales mourn their dead. Whales mourn their dead. That's enough for you, Kersey. You're like something mourns it's dead. It's a thing. We're go <laughs> like they are. You judge well, everything I, by uh, does it mourn it's dead. <laughs> to be fair. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. I think while I'm speaking of the life of this whale on the bottom of the ocean, we also have to talk about how the whales are saying goodbye. <laughs> mm hmm And by the way, I should correct you. Does it make a song? Then it is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Does it sing for its dead? There you go. No, not just for the dead, for anything at all. <laughs> for anything at all. Then it is the thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I, I I have a new obsession. Their names are whales. Uh life changed life changed about these whales i'm glad that you had I that posted a couple of i posted a couple of like very small videos but like my phone quality stinks but my uncle's phone quality phenomenal so i'm waiting to get his videos back and then i'm gonna be like these are totally my videos Look can i have a side conversation are. about that what kind of phone does he have uh i have oh what phone does he have yeah. i have no idea uh find An out a new iphone oh it is it's a new iphone yeah, man. I it's need a, new a new one. Phone. I know you do. I, yeah. have, I have that in works for you. I'll talk to you about it later. Oh, you do? That'd be really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's stressful not having the right phone for what you need. And what's stressful yeah. about it is that my phone isn't even that old. It's from 2018. Mm -hmm. These things should last 10 years. It's fine. We're talking yeah. about whales. Should. We're calming down. We're talking about whales. You know what lasts for more than 10 years? Whales. 40 <laughs> to 50 years. Yeah. 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 I also just saw a post recently that um, Sylvester Stallone still has the turtles that were in Rocky. When he, they're like over 40 years old now, yeah. those turtles. I, um, I thought that was cute. Yeah, that's kind of like randomly. Like I, I also like met some turtles one time. Because in Malibu, people would just kind of like, you know, buy turtles and they right. stay with the property for however long. And right. I met these Galapagos turtles and I was wearing cool. red shoes and they were like, oh, those shoes are food. So they would have to, <laughs> would have to and they're fast. You don't think they're that fast? They're kind of fast. So I would have to kind of like maneuver myself around the turtles so that they wouldn't see my feet and then say hello to them and give them the space <laughs> they needed. Yeah, Cute. these people were wild, man. <laughs> then with their turtles, like, I can visit, but I cannot stay long. That is not, like, you can be rich, right. but, like, you know, like, that's fine, but, like, I, I can't. It's hard not to be judgy in those situations. You know who I want to be? The whale. I just, mm -hmm, I, <laughs> I want to be the whale. Oh, I've, I've, I've one hundred percent decided if if karma is a thing, I get to come back as a whale. Please, it's, please, yeah. karma, I get to come back as a whale. <laughs> it's chaos. Be kind. Be kind. Become the whale. Be kind. Be kind. Become a whale. Be kind. Be kind. Become a whale. <laughs> uh, previously, I was like, being a cat would be great. No, 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 no. You want to be a whale, and yeah. you don't even really have to interact with people all that often. Like, you want to be a humpback whale. <laughs> That's what you want to do. You get a vacation every year in Hawaii. You want to be a humpback whale. <laughs> do you? Well, one, I'm really glad that you had a moment that helped you feel present in the moment instead of worrying about mm -hmm. the past and the future because you absolutely deserve that. Thank um, you. I, I love those moments. Me I, too. Yeah. Um, I've been, I think that's why people meditate. It's just trying to find that moment. Yeah, more people should see whales. That's, that's, <laughs> that gives you the moment. This isn't, 
a whale moment, but it is a moment. I definitely had that moment when I got back to New Orleans. When I was telling you about this in the car ride on the way over here. But right. I went out and I went to a show and it was one of those like, okay, this is my life right now. And I'm really, really, really grateful for all mm. the things. And I am very much. See, here's the thing, man. Like carnival season just got started. Like the ball is just right. about to get rolling. And I'm already just like, okay, it's been a long pandemic. I'm going to respect the fact that it is still kind of a pandemic. Or what is it when it's kind of a pandemic and it starts with an E? Epidemic. It's an epidemic? Are we in an epidemic? Yeah. I think it's still a pandemic. It's still a pandemic? I think so. Actually, can we fact check this? Because I don't sure. I don't want to give misinformation. It COVID a yep. still a pandemic. Yeah. Yep. Still a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yes. That being said, I will treat it with respect. I will wear my mask where it is needed. But I'm so freaking happy to, like, be making friends again and being mm-hmm. outside and meeting and talking to people. It's, I was going to say, you're doing art markets again, too. I'm doing art markets again, and that night was also amazing. <laughs> right. <laughs> people automatically saw me. They started hugging me. I was hugging them back. They were excited to see me. One of my friends cried. When she saw me out there, oh. she was like, you're back. And she cried when she saw my other friend, too. And, yeah, dude, it's, like, like, I set up a really, like, just janky booth, man. It looked like it was my first day ever. Like, I just had, like, bins <laughs> and a few prints. My first night at the art market on this street, Frenchman, I just had a cardboard right. box and a table and that's it and a shower curtain i used a shower curtain i used a shower curtain as my tablecloth because i didn't want to get anything wet (laughs) baby it was a baby day um now i'm really 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 happy to like re-enter that part of my life it feels Mm -hmm. good yeah, yeah. I was, that was so excited. Uh, I saw your picture and I was so excited for you. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, that like definitely, you know, to bring it back to Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know uh-huh. that feeling when you get really, really excited, but you kind of want to respect the people around you and not freak them out? So you kind of just like freak me out, freak me out. No, here's the thing is that I think about whale breaches in that time. I'm very excitable. I, you, you know, you can really, really, really freak people out when you're as excitable as I am. So the best thing you can do (laughs) is just breach within yourself. (laughs) 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 Or just imagine whale breaching. And that's, you know, yeah. Yeah, no, man. I hear that. I hear that. Honestly, too, you ever need someone to really freak out about whale stuff with you? Dude. I- I'm the one. <laughs> I am the one. I'm whale the one. Episode, I'm the new person. Whale it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk I about love whales. whales. I can't tell you how much I love the whales, but I love them a lot. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I have a I have an immense desire to talk about whales now. All the time. Constantly. Tell me more about whales. You want more fun facts? Or do or, you want... What do you want? I want to know about uh, the mom and the calf. Um, how far away you guys were and uh-huh. uh, if there was any uncomfort on your part of am I invading someone's space and by someone I mean the 
baby and the mom. Twins. I definitely had that. Yeah. I definitely had that when we were so close to them. Um, our captain did specifically say, like, we're not getting too close to them. They're literally, especially when they were sleeping, because like I said, we were like 150 feet away, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I'm bad at judgment, like, but um, distance. I'm bad at distance judging. Um, but the captain was like, we're not too close. They're taking a nap. No biggie. And then when they were doing all their stuff, like when they were awake and having fun and doing all that, we weren't that close anymore. Like not Uh even close to that close. We were maybe like 400 feet away or something like that. Like, I feel like they had enough space. Um, and like, like I said, they went for an hour and a half. So it's not... I feel like if they were uncomfortable, they probably would have moved away. Hmm. You know? Like, our boat, we didn't, like, we we cut the engine for, like, an hour and a half. Like, we didn't move. The only moving we did was, like, to rotate the boat. So it's, like, the left side of the boat can see better. Now the right side of the boat can see better. Hmm. We were at the front of the boat, so we could see everything the whole time. We were so lucky. Um, but like, that was all we were doing. We weren't getting close to them. We weren't following them as they were like moving around, nothing like that. So I was like, I think we're okay. And the engine um, was there still was a, cut off, right? It was like, we turned it on when we were rotating. Okay. And then turned it off again. So it, I think it was okay. Um, it did definitely like, like I said, when they were sleeping, it was like, I don't know if we should be this close to them. Like, this just seems kind of mean. What if we wake them up? that's not cool but then yeah like we moved away um and they still slept like for another like five ten minutes or whatever after we had moved away and then started it up so i was like i think we're all right i don't feel bad right now (laughs) yeah um there were a couple of other boats in the area but i couldn't like i said i'm a bad like judger of distance so i don't know how close they got and everything um i don't think anyone was really closer than we were um so i think it was fine but yeah i don't know it was it was just so cool (laughs) it was so cool the the baby like really reminded me of a cow and then i started thinking are whales just (laughs) cow like giant cows in the ocean and i think they kind of are um which makes sense as to why they're now my favorite animal because previously cows were my favorite animals oh yeah you're Uh, realizing now oh yeah Realizing now, whales are so much cooler than cows. <laughs> yeah, I have a New Year's resolution. But, but both are eating. cool. <laughs> both are cool. I have a New Year's resolution to stop eating beef and pig. Pretty much, I want to stop eating an animal that I feel like I can't kill myself. Mm. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So. I like it. A lot of turkey. Good for resolution. Me, so I'm gonna freaking. I would kill a turkey for sure. Anyway, <laughs> I could kill turkey for sure. For no sure. issues. For sure. <laughs> I was chased by a turkey. Did I ever tell you that story? I don't think so. Yeah. But well, like all birds are bad. <laughs> you think so? I think some birds are good. I love little parakeets. I love. The one, I mean, they're tiny dinosaurs, dude. You gotta love tiny dinosaurs. I I don't not love them. I just also think they're all evil. There, you there's, think birds are There's evil. two differences there. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. You think birds are evil. <laughs> you think the things that they fly... They steal. Them, what do they, they steal? They steal. Dude, we literally had, we were on the beach having a picnic. Oh, my God. And um, what are those called? Cardinals? There was a cardinal that came up, landed on Bennett's leg to try and steal, what was he eating? Oh, like a French fry or something like that. I forget what it was. And it was literally flying around him, pecking at him to get to the French fry. <laughs> I like that bird. <laughs> He was bird. like, what the <laughs> hell is this thing? And I was like, I don't know, man. That's a brazen, brazen cardinal going at And it was mad. Like, when he tried to shoo it away, it birds squeaked at him. Yeah, birds are super smart. Yeah. Dude, one time the I was bird sitting was like, on my no, no, porch. I'm not leaving. Yeah, I was sitting on my porch, and there's this oak tree that kind of, like, shades it. And I had mm-hmm. all these, like, acorns that were, like, dropping really close to my head. I was like, what is going on? And I look up. And it's a blue jay who's like, what are you doing in my space? 
and trying to pluck out acorns to hit me on the head. <laughs> oh my god. Blue jays are actually kind of mean. I will say that about blue jays. But every other bird, <laughs> good in my book. I love birds. Oh, birds are super cool. I love birds too. They can still be evil. <laughs> 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 love the bird just love saying bird. <laughs> but this is actually the whale episode actually i think we should probably wrap it up for time but i i think we i think i we've both flexed our whale love today. yeah I think our love for whales yeah next week we'll get back into again rock and roll and sex which we will talk about our audience <laughs> <laughs> as we promise one day we will talk about it um yeah. You know, maybe the new podcast direction is just talking about whales. (laughs) (laughs) Before we go, check your Instagram messages really quickly. Okay, right right now? Right now. I want to get your uh, reaction recorded. I'm checking my Instagram message. What crap is looking up is a drawing I did Uh. of a humpback whale um, and the thought of a humpback whale as two people are cuddling with each other. That is so cute. I love it. Yep. That is so cute. <laughs> my tattoo idea Can I make this is... my phone background? Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. The tattoo I have of that is like just the thought bubble of the whale breaching. I like that. Yeah. 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 All right. What did you work on today, Kersey? (laughs) I am actually, I'm really busy. I'm working on my next children's book. Um, Getting back into markets has been really just time consuming. Um, Mm -hmm. My house was a mess. That's a whole nother story. Budgeting, um, taxes. I got to think about whales for a second now because now I just overwhelmed myself. But, um, (laughs) The main thing that I've been really working on is the children's book, and I can't wait to get your opinion and your thoughts on it. I'm excited. Yeah. How about you? What are you working on? I made a cross-stitch pattern of a whale breaching. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (laughs) I couldn't help it. (laughs) Send me a picture when we get off. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's pretty cute. I can send it to you on Instagram right now. Yeah, do it. It's one of the ones where, like, you take an existing picture and then uh, make the pattern around it. So that's what I did. Maybe I'll just make a few of those today because I really like it. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, I don't know how to close the show. Can you close the show? So this has been fun. Thank you so much for listening today. We hope you enjoyed um, all of this whale content. It was fun for us. Uh, If you want to keep listening, which you totally should, you can check us out online at Peachy Podcast, P-E-A-C-C-H-Y. Um, that might change in the future probably will and if you want to check out anything i do on the internet you can look up rapid peach if you want to check out anything kersey does on the internet you can check out made by kersey and then if you want to buy any of our super duper cool art you can check peachy podcast shop on etsy did i do good that is good all right i'm gonna write that one down and i'll do one of those out i can't close out i get too nervous i get too stuttery but i love you i'll talk to you next week We'll talk to you next week. Hope you have a wonderful week. Bye. Everybody keep crafting. Bye.